everybody welcome back to my channel so as requested today's video is going to be another night angel haul because on sunday i went back to night angel and i got a few more things for the hamsters so that's what we're going to be doing today i'm also going to be showing you little clips of what they look like in the enclosure like i did with the last one just because i think it's nice for you guys to see how i rearranged the cage Next week's video will be a full cage tour because I do have a few more things I want to add. So next week's video will be cage tours. This week's video is the haul, so let's get in. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, this is adorable. I didn't even realize that they had this, but it is a night angel bowl. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a little hamster with a seed <laughs> and it's the cutest thing. I got one, one each for Sunny and... <laughs> I got one each for Sunny and Latte for this salad because I do scatter feed their seed mix. So they've got one bowl each and I think that they love it because it's just so cute. I love it so much, 10 out of 10, I love it. So the next item I also got two of, which is the Night Angel water bottle holder and water bottle. Now, the water bottle holder is actually adjustable. If you unscrew this, which way is it? This way. You can actually lift up the platform and it goes up and down. I like to keep it low. Actually, I might just keep it right there. Just so Sunny doesn't have, this is Sunny's water bottle, just so she doesn't have to bend her neck when she drinks. But if I were to have a dwarf, it would be easier if I were to put it lower. There are particles floating around in the water. I'm gonna need to change the water, but this is what it looks like. The water bottle is removable and it's easily inserted. The little stand sits in between the little lines here. It's super cute, I love the color. It's just a nice plain wood and it's so much prettier than what they previously had. <laughs> I swear that didn't go with anything, no matter how hard I tried to make it work. It just, no. So that is really cute. The next item is actually something I've been wanting to get for quite a while, which is the Night Angel Two Chamber Hideout. I gave this to Sunny just because she is more of a borrower than Latte. Latte just likes to sleep either in his um, little blue hideout or recently I gave him the platform. I rearranged the cages. He likes to sleep underneath the platform. So I decided to give Sunny this. I think it's really cute. I definitely got the right size. It's quite big. It doesn't look that big, but if I put it, if I put it on my head, one slot is as big as my head. So you can kind of estimate how big it is by looking at it. And there are three holes, like. I love it, Sunny loves it. She sleeps in it all the time. Luckily, she wasn't sleeping in it just then. So I didn't wake her up. She was in her mushroom, but I think she's up now. She hears me talking. <laughs> so yeah, that is the Night Angel Two Chamber Hideout. The next thing is something I actually got recommended to me, which is the Night Angel Desert Sand. So last week when I went to the Night Angel shop and I did my haul, I got a comment saying you should get the desert sand, it's better for them. So I took their advice and I went ahead and bought it. I really like the color. This one is less dusty than the bathing sand that I have um, right now. So I'm definitely gonna be using this going forward. It, there's a lot in a bag. I can probably have this for about a month. It's really good. And the hamsters love it. They don't only use it to go to the bathroom, but they also like to clean in it. They like to dig. So it's really, really good. I like it a lot, highly recommend. So the next item is pretty small. It's pretty much just a Night Angel bendable bridge. I got the small one because I just needed something to, uh, so Lata could climb up onto the platform. But then I realized I got the wavy bridge that came with the platform. So I decided to use it as a little hidey place. And now he stores all of his food underneath it. <laughs> I do need to buy some forest moss to stuff in between the little gaps so he doesn't get his paws stuck, but other than that, I really like this product. 
it's so much better than the ones at my pet shop. I'll actually get the other one and we can do a comparison because the difference is outrageous. <laughs> All right, so this is the bendable bridge that I got from my local pet shop and this is the one that I got from Night Angel. So as you can probably tell, <laughs> look how crooked this one is. As you can probably tell, this one is a lot messier and it's got bigger gaps if I bend them both and I show you them both bended. It's very obvious which one is the more suited one. The gaps in this one are bigger than the gaps in this one. So, this one is bigger but it's only because the logs are much bigger. But that also means there are bigger gaps, so. This is the comparison here. I definitely prefer the Night Angel one though, 100%. 100%. I don't think I'm gonna use this again unless I really have to because it's not that great. So the next thing I got isn't really that interesting because I just figured it would be good to get. I got it last time, so I got some more sprays. Sunny and Latte love the sprays. I wasn't sure how they would, um, I don't, I'm not sure how they would like it. Sunny loves them, especially the flax sprays. Latte less, but he still likes them a lot. So I got some more. You get quite a lot in a pack. You get flax, two pieces of millet, some wheat, and some, oh, two types of wheat, some flax, and some millet, which is great. I love. All right, final item. So the final item I got from Night Angel was a big bag of Aspen wood shavings. I hold it up. I am really looking forward to cleaning out the hamster cages because I'm my plan is to do half of the cage this stuff and then half the cage paper-based bedding just to give the hamsters a bit more variety when it comes to walking on it and also to improve their enrichment because my care is still not perfect even with all these cool products so I'm still improving, but I think that using this bedding along with the paper bedding will really give it that boost of enrichment that they need. I've opened it to see what it looks like, and it's basically just really compacted wood shavings. If I hold it to the camera, you can kind of see. I'm dropping them everywhere. So that's gonna be my job for this weekend, to clean out both cages and replace half of the bedding with the aspen shavings. In case you're wondering, don't worry, the aspen shavings are the safe kind of shavings for hamsters. The sh kind of shavings you want to avoid is pine and cedar. They don't sell that at Night Angel, luckily, so I didn't really have to be cautious when it came to buying wood shavings because they know what they're doing. They know that it's the safe kind. And this is a 65 liter bag, so that's a lot of, a lot of shavings. <laughs> I need to put all this back now. Shuffle. All right. So just to give you guys a quick update on Sunny while I'm trying to fit her two chamber hideout back in her cage after filming. She's doing really well. Um, I have a few concerns about her behavior. Like she will sometimes pace up and down the cage, which I know is a sign of stress. I've done everything in my power to reduce the stress. I think I know why it's because the cage is far too small, but I don't have the space in my room right now to upgrade her. So I'm kind of like stuck on the edge with trying to make it work, but I feel like the more enrichment I give her, the less stress she'll be, which is why I did give her the two chamber hideout over latte because he does have the bigger enclosure so i just thought it would be fair if she gets the two chamber hideout but other than that she's doing really really well um i truly hope that she's happy i'm doing everything in my power to keep her satisfied but female hamsters are very hard to satisfy if you owned a female hamster you will know that they are not easy to please so I am doing my best, <laughs> but I think that I am doing very well considering what I have and the position that I'm in right now. 
but yeah sunny is doing a-ok -okay, and i am very lucky to have her <sighs> okay i can put everything back in now <laughs> All right, let me just give you a quick update on Latte. Might as well. Latte is doing really well. He is showing signs of age, like he's losing a little bit of weight, which is expected for an elderly hamster. I am keeping an eye on it though, just in case it becomes more frequent. But at the moment, he's at a healthy weight. I am weighing him every two weeks and recording it at the moment. That is how I'm tracking his weight. So other than that, he's doing really, really well. He's spoiled or rotten, just like his sister. And yeah, Latte is doing really, really well. He, I've noticed that he doesn't eat as many of his vegetables anymore, but I'm guessing that's just because his appetite's shifting a bit because of his age. I'm not really sure, but I am keeping an eye on it. I remember with Pumpkin, Lenny and Misty, when they got older, they stopped eating as much. So I'm guessing it's just something that elderly hamsters do. They just don't eat as much, but I'm keeping an eye on it for sure because I know that being a hamster, he is prone to a lot of illnesses, cancer especially. So I am keeping a watchful eye on him and I have my emergency vet number at hand just in case. So yeah, apart from that, Latte is doing great. I also thought I'd give a quick update on myself because, I don't know, it's my channel. I thought you guys might be interested to see how I'm doing. Um, something I need to talk to you guys about actually is um, my aunt is visiting from the UK next week. No, on Thursday. She's coming on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. She's coming on Thursday. And she'll be staying, where is she staying? I think she's staying in my brother's room. So I'm not sure how available I will be to film. Fingers crossed I'll be able to get a video out next week because I'm really excited about that one. And I know you guys are probably too. So apart from that, I'm doing pretty good. I am tired to say the least. Work is taking it out of me right now. It's it's hard working with kids. If you've ever worked with kids, you would know that it drains the life out of you. <laughs> but yeah, apart from that, I am doing A-OK. -okay. So I know this was a little bit of a short video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it regardless. Next week will be the full cage tours, as well as maybe of me some clips rearranging the cages a bit because of all this new stuff and also putting in the Aspen shavings. So next week's video will gonna be, it's gonna be a really good one. I'm looking forward to making that one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. What am I doing with my life? I don't know.